My name is Sheldon Alexander Rose. But everybody calls me Shelly. I was born in New York City in 1953. Uh, now you know my age. I'm 67 years young. New York City back in the 50s when there were mom and pop stores and a deli, a Jewish deli on every corner. My parents were good people. They were toy wholesalers. But they didn't let my brother and I touch any of the toys. They always had to be in the packaging. And I wanted to open those toys so bad. Those eyes, they're made from tail whites. The sheet metal workers would make these in their lunch break. I consult in nostalgia. The other one I say is I'm an armchair anthropologist. Do you know, it was 20 years before I started appraising on the road show that I met Shelley. So that should give you an indication of how old the two of us are, or a couple of old codgers. You need a vast amount of knowledge to be a great buyer, and Shelley's is encyclopedic. I mean, he's really almost on the spectrum. Collecting is an act of falling in love time and time again with the object, with its history, with the people who owned it. I'm a lover, I'm a Valentino. I've had thousands of love affairs. I'm only joking. I've only got eyes for my mother. It would never have worked out between us. I'm a serious dealer. I go to Les Puces de Paris. I have private clients, private dealers I work with. He collects, he buys uh, church keys. We would start at opposite ends of the market so we wouldn't compete with each other. Places like Elephant Trunk and Schultz Grove and Stormville. He was with me the day I found the best tape measure of my career, Stanley, 3306 in gunmetal. I try to go to two, three, four, five estate sales a month. How much is this? Years of practice have made my approach very subtle. Hello, greetings. Has anyone died? We're historians, we're storytellers. Was it a whole family that died? How many people died approximately? Antiques, they open doors to our past. Where can I block? Antique toys, they open doors to our childhood. People often miss the fact that I don't because I'm his mother and I'm biased. But the greatest object in Shelley's entire collection is himself. It's Shelley. It was terribly sad when they closed 26th Street and he moved to the show place. But now with COVID and him closing up his booth, New York has really lost an icon. Now, I am aware you said to stay at the front of the house, but I did walk around a little bit and I found this. And I gotta tell you, your children are never gonna want it. Whereas I, I can use it for my collection. So why don't I take it off your hands? I enjoyed my time with Shelley on 26th Street. I was like his protege. I learned so much, but once this acrophobia kicked in, I became an eBay power seller. Why do I do what I do? Is it out of pain? eBay fees, buyer protection, buyer's remorse are horrific. Well, it ain't out of pleasure. But I've been doing therapy for 12 years, twice a week, and I cannot get rid of this acrophobia, so. And now we're throwing COVID in the mix, forget about it. I'm excited. New chapter in my life to come and live up here. I'm gonna get a warehouse and I'm gonna put all the stuff that I've lived in various storage units all my life, I'm gonna put them all under one roof. It'll be like a giant homecoming of sorts.